Well, hi, Code Academy. This is Miss Barjron and Caroline. Say hi, Caroline. Hi. Hi. Caroline is a student here at Code Academy, and um, together we're going to just talk about a book. We're going to read a story and talk about our skill of the month. Last month we had inferencing. Yep. Did you get to do that? Yeah. And you turned in your bookmark, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So, well, now we have a new skill of the month. What is it? And it's main idea. Right. Yeah. Main idea. It also can be called central idea. They mean the same thing. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. And what I'm hoping will happen is after we read our story, then kids will be really excited and want their parents to read them stories and talk about the same kind of stuff. Yeah. You think that'll happen? Yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> I'm so glad you're my partner today, Caroline. <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay. So, um, the story that I chose for us today is called Now and Ben. Now, there's a saying that people usually say like, oh, well, every now and then we will do such and such. Well, this author kind of used those words mm -hmm. and made a, sentence, a title out of it called Now and Ben, The Modern Inventions of Benjamin Franklin. So that's the title of our story today. We're gonna learn about Benjamin Franklin, I think. I think that's what's gonna happen in the story because that's in the title. Yeah. So um, before we start any story, a really good thing to do is to look at the title, mm -hmm. do a picture walk, yeah. which means to look through all the pictures and just kind of get an idea of what you think the story might be about. Yeah. Kind of make a prediction about what you think it is and keep in mind what the focus of the month is, which today is main idea. Yeah. You might be asking though, what is main idea? Well, the main idea is what the story is mostly about. Mm -hmm. The really cool thing is you do it in one sentence. Really? Yeah. Cool. So it's not like summary, because summary you tell a lot of details in the story and everything. Mm -hmm. This is one sentence that just says what it's mostly about. And as we're reading, we'll kind of keep that in mind. What is this story mostly about? And there's ways that you can figure that out. Mm -hmm. The title, the pictures, even some of the words. Cool. If words are repeated over and over and over and over again, it must be pretty important, right? Yeah. So that's what the main idea is, whatever is important in the story. All right. All right, so I think I'm ready to get started. You wanna get started? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is Now and Ben, The Modern Inventions of Benjamin Franklin and it's by Jean Beretta. That sounds like a nice name. That is a nice name. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just do our picture walk because no matter what story you're doing, it's always fun just to look through if there's pictures. You know, if yeah. it's a chapter book, it might not have any. Yeah. But this one has pictures. Ooh. Right? And I, I can dress. see on this page that this must be Benjamin Franklin because mm -hmm. he's holding a sign that says Franklin. Yep. And it says his wife, his son, his daughter, and another son. Huh. So Pretty he cool. has two sons. He does have two sons. So he, he maybe he was a real person. Yeah. Maybe. We're going to find out. Yep. And on this picture, I can see lots of things going on in the mm -hmm. city. I can see a lot too. What do you see that's pretty neat? I can see like um, the car is like going towards Benjamin Franklin and then okay, there's um, a car. And then what's really neat is I like that um, they're playing um, um, cards and stuff and mm -hmm. trying to win money. Oh, I can see a lot. There are a lot of things going on here. Yeah, the town is really busy. So in this one, I'm noticing also it's really good idea to look at text features, mm -hmm. which is kind of like how the pages are set up. Yeah. I can see that there's a now mm -hmm. and Ben. Yeah. Instead of now and then. And they're both big words. They are bigger than the other part. Yeah. Yeah. And on this page, you see it again? Now, now and then. Ben. Hmm. I think I see how this story is set up. Same. Now, now and Ben. Ben. We'll skip a couple pages here. Now, now and ben. ben. Okay. And I see pictures of where when it's saying now, mm -hmm. it's showing like kind of modern day what's happening right now. Yeah. But where it says Ben, it looks kind of like old timey pictures. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's old school. Yeah, like way back in history. Yeah. Hmm. Because like he he's like riding in the carriage of mm -hmm. horses. 
where and on the other side they're riding in a school a bus. school bus. So we can see that there's now what we're living in now. Yeah. And then Ben, ben is in history. history. So he's. We're already noticing. We haven't yeah. read any words yet, and we already got some ideas going. Yep. All right. Are you ready to read some words? Yeah. Okay. Remember, we're looking for the main idea, mm -hmm. so we're gonna think about the title, the pictures, things that are repeated over and over. Yep. Um, maybe some important words that pop out at us. Yay! Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. <laughs> right. Now and then, we think about Ben, Dr. Benjamin Franklin to be precise. And we think about his many inventions. Inventions he originated more than 200 years ago. Okay, do you see some words that are mentioned a lot? Yeah. What word is did you see more than one time? I saw um, this one. Mm -hmm. And, and then, it's on there twice, right? Yeah. That word inventions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, I saw. Hmm, I saw. Um, hmm. What's that? Oh, Ben. Ben and, and then ben. ben. So already on this page, we can see that. Benjamin Franklin must be pretty important in the story. Yeah. yeah. It was on the title. It was mm -hmm. on the first page twice. Yep. And now it's on this page. Yeah. And the word inventions was on the title. Yeah. And on this page mm -hmm. twice. So it's definitely, definitely important. Yep. So I bet that's part of the main idea. Yeah. Okay. So it says that um, we think about his many inventions. I'm now thinking that... Benjamin Franklin must be a real person. Yeah, probably. That lived a long time ago. I said more than 200 years ago. Yeah. That's a long time. I know. I know. I'm old, but 200, that's really old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. It was as if Ben could see into the future. Almost everything he created is still around today. For instance, mm -hmm. now, now our newspapers are filled with illustrations. Do you know what illustrations are? Mm -hmm. Pictures. Pictures, that's right. Ben was the first to print a political cartoon in America. The cartoon encouraged the American colonies to join together or die like the disconnected snake. So he, we already had a newspaper. He didn't invent yeah. that part. Yeah. But he invented putting pictures into the newspaper. I love pictures. You love pictures? Yeah. Yeah, I love illustrations and pictures. He invented putting them into the newspaper to make it more interesting. So like these regular newspapers, he invented these pictures? That's right. He said, right. hey, you know it would be really cool? Let's put some pictures in there. So you know how we have cartoons in our pictures? Yeah. In our newspapers? Didn't used to have that before, Ben. Yep. Pretty cool guy. I like him. Mm -hmm. Now, bifocals are very common. Bifocals combine two sets of lenses in one pair of glasses. Bottom lenses help near, and the top lenses help far. Yep, so now we have glasses where you can see far if you look up here, and close if you look down yeah. here. That's now. Mm -hmm. Ben originally designed bifocals mm -hmm. for himself after he grew tired of switching between two pairs of glasses. Yeah, I figured that because I was wondering why I said see far and see near. Yeah, so you used that. Yeah. Yeah, the picture clues. Good mm -hmm. idea. Okay, so we're seeing again that Ben is mentioned again, mm -hmm. and some of his inventions are mentioned yep. again. Like the, um, the glasses. The, the glasses, which you know what? Mm -hmm. I have bifocals on right now. <laughs> they, before, if, before Ben came along, I would have had to put a different pair to look far and yep. another pair to see close and, and go back and forth. Boy. That would be tiring. Yeah. Well. But now, hoo, 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 yep. one pair of glasses, I can see far, I can see close. Yep. Now I'm really telling my age. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, it happens. Yep. Now our world relies on electricity. In the 18th century, many people still believe that lightning was an act of anger and punishment from the gods. Ben was one of the scientists who discovered the true nature of electricity and how to use it. He learned that lightning is electricity when he attached a small metal wire to the top of the kite and gathered electricity from a storm. 
So we're using electricity right now. From a storm. Yeah, he figured it out from yep. the lightning storm. Mm -hmm. So we can see that now we use electricity, but way back then, they used to have candles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that exciting? We still use that today. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about my main idea. This story is definitely about who? Yeah. Who is it about? Ben. Ben. Ben Franklin. Franklin. And it's about his different... His different inventions. Inventions. Wow, you're picking that up. And that how we use it today. Yep. And how it used to be different from today. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's gonna have if we're gonna use some of this in the future. Yeah, but we kind of need technology because then we couldn't even cook. This is true. Yeah, that's right. We need the electricity mm -hmm. so that we can cook on the stove. Otherwise, we'd be out at the fire pit making our dinner. Yeah, which hot dogs on the fire are okay, but have you ever tried to do spaghetti? Mm -mm. I have. That was a fail. Yeah. I couldn't get the water to boil. Uh oh. Yeah. So. Doing spaghetti on the stove is way better. Yeah. So we need electricity. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> All right. Now, many buildings and homes use lightning rods to protect against lightning strikes. Ben invented the lightning rod and was the first to use it. The pointed rod acts like a magnet and grabs an approaching lightning bolt from the sky before it can strike the rooftop. The electricity then travels safely down the long wire to the ground and prevents fires and keeps dangerous amounts of electricity away from the house. <laughs> wow, that was a good invention too. Yeah. He has lots of good inventions, mm -hmm. things we still use today. Otto, I wonder why this bird is dead. Oh <laughs> yeah, the bird's like, what is happening here? Yep. If you don't see the picture, I'll show you here. The bird, <laughs> the lightning striking is like, wah! <laughs> but at least it didn't make the building catch on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better to have a scared bird instead of a, a building on fire. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> okay. Now, swimmers and divers use flippers to move faster through the water. Ben invented things even when he was a boy. Huh. When he was a young kid like you. Yep. <laughs> he invented it. He was an avid swimmer and built wooden flippers for both his hands and his feet. Cool. So, you, have you ever used flippers in the water? Mm -mm. No? No. Uh, we gotta <laughs> talk to mom about that. <laughs> <laughs> they make you super duper fast. Really? Like a fish or like a dolphin or a mermaid. A shark. Oh, a shark. She's thinking dangerous. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes you really fast. And he made them out of wood, mm -hmm. but we, um, now we have them out of like plastic and rubber. Yeah. Yeah. But he invented that when he was a kid. Ah, uh, what a smart guy. But you kind of need them because like if you couldn't swim and if you um, didn't have floaties, you could kind of use them. Yep, you could use them. It doesn't keep you afloat, but it yeah. makes you faster. Yeah. Now ships travel across the Gulf Stream to take advantage of the faster current. Ben measured char and charted and publicized the Gulf Stream during his eight voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. So he noticed that the water was traveling faster in some areas and said, hey, why don't I jump on that stream yeah. and go faster? But like there are a lot of stuff that he invented. He did invent a lot. Yeah. Did you notice how, how many times we said the word invented? Yes, we did. About a billion times. Yep. <laughs> so what do you think the main idea might be about? The main idea might be about him inventing stuff. I think you're on the right track. Yeah. Because when you say, when you hear and read things a lot in the story, there's your main idea. Yep. Or central idea. They mean the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Now we understand and accept the benefits of vitamin C. Ben was an early promoter of eating citrus fruit to help prevent a disease called scurvy. Ugh. I don't want that disease. <laughs> yeah, me either. No, I don't for sure. But I'm kind of glad he invited, he invented vitamin C because without vitamin C, if you were sick, you wouldn't have medicine. That's right. And yeah. he, he noticed the benefits of it. So he didn't invent vitamin C, but he noticed how it helped. Yeah. And he let everybody know. What so, a smart guy. Yep. Now and then, we owe thanks to Ben for his important inventions. 
but many would agree that his greatest accomplishment came in the form of documents. That's papers. All right. Documents that helped shape the world. Ben had a pivotal role in developing America's constitution and treaty of alliance with France, the treaty of peace with England, and the declaration of independence. It's remarkable that one man could achieve so much in a lifetime. He has certainly helped to form the modern world. Cool. He's done a lot. Yeah, but look how much notes he's making. He's making like a lot. Yeah, he does make a lot of notes as he goes. That's what yep. a good scientist does. And mm -hmm. it seems like he's got a lot of science going on. I can see because look at the science. Look at that. <laughs> Will his contributions help to form the future? Hmm. I think I can see in this picture mm -hmm. is very similar to the very first picture. Well, not the very, very first, yeah. but the one of the city. Yeah. We see a car. Mm -hmm. And in and the then, future, maybe it'll be a real car. Like, look, it's got no wheels. Oh, that has wheels. Maybe it'll be like a hovercraft. Yeah. Or maybe like a Cadillac. Ooh, ooh, a Cadillac <laughs> hovercraft. You're yep. my kind of, I'm liking how you're going with these <laughs> ideas. And in the past, not in the past, but yeah. right now, our glasses look like what you and I are wearing. Yeah. Right? But look in this picture where they're showing in the future that maybe, where did he go? I saw him on here a second ago. Right where? here. Mm, that's Benjamin Franklin, but there was someone else who had funny glasses on. Oh, yeah. look, see? Yeah. He has those different glasses mm -hmm. on. And look at her glasses. Oh, yeah. Right? Those so, are so silly. Look at that if you're not seeing it already. So she doesn't have bifocals. She has like one, two, three, four sides to each Whoa. side of her glasses. That might be something that someone uses Ben Franklin's idea mm -hmm. and bring it into the future and yeah, do something different. Yeah, because this is the future and then yes. on the next page was the past. That's right, the other page was the past. Yep. You noticed a lot of things in this story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as we look back and yeah. think back, to the main idea. Mm -hmm. We said that the main idea is what the story is. It's mostly about. Mostly about, right? Mm -hmm. So we gotta think, what is the story mostly about? What do you remember mm -hmm. seeing a lot or hearing a lot? Oh, I know. The story is mostly about him inventing stuff. That's right, who? Benjamin Franklin. So we heard Benjamin Franklin a lot. Yeah. We heard inventing a yeah. lot. Like a and, lot. Uh -huh. lot. And then the whole thing with Ben, Ben, then and Ben. Yeah. It's kind of like now and in the past mm -hmm. or in the future. Yeah. So there's time involved too. Exactly. So this is what I'm thinking, and you tell me if, if you if you agree with me. All right. I'm thinking the main idea of this story might be Ben Franklin made many inventions that we use today and might even use in the future. I agree. Like it? Yeah. You I agree? agree. Yeah. All right. It wasn't that hard to find main idea, was it? No, it wasn't. Main idea, central idea, same thing. Yeah. And uh, it's just what the story is mostly about yeah. and doing it in one sentence. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. It I was. liked it. So maybe you can get mom to read you a story and you're going to find the main idea? Yeah. Yeah. If you do that, you're going to get a new bookmark like you did last month. Uh -huh. It's on main idea. If you do the same thing we just did with mom at mm -hmm. home, or dad or auntie, uncle, grandma, yeah. grandpa, anybody that is a person, <laughs> um, if you do that with them mm -hmm. and they sign that mm -hmm. that little uh, bookmark, yeah. and you bring it in to me, I'll give you a prize. <laughs> I'm that cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a prize that you can pick from the treasure box, okay? All right. All right, so easy peasy. Yeah. All right, y'all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the story.